port takeoff check, go ahead. Doors and ports. All right, I'm gonna configure the ports here. Mike, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just uh, burp us down here. You probably wanna do the same unless you're comfortable doing that in the climb. Okay. Set. Fuel pumps. Fuel pumps are on, low warning. pressure lights are out, all warning lights are out. Take off data and procedures. Okay, we're gonna take off runway 30, Mike, and uh, mill power takeoff. Okay. Okay, we're go. Mike, how you doing down there? You ready? I'm ready. And uh, scat flight uh, White Knight is uh, rolling on runway 30. White Knight, Roger. Gear lights. And airspeed is good. Yeah, I see the left gear going up. Right gear to go. 5-1, right left base runway 26. Okay, left base 26, 5-1. lights are out. Gear's up. Okay, oxygen no normal. Body ground okay, going mobile. to normal oxygen. Still mobile ground. Good. And intercom. Starship Josh approach on mission out of here. Intercom's up and running. All right, Mike, we need baseline thermocouple temps uh, when you're ready. Okay, you got it turned on. Please currently off. Okay, thermocouple temps from the top, 73, 65, 71, 71. Roger, we're climbing through 12,000 and uh, request a uh, frequency change to mission. Wait, night is straighter content. Mojave, one mile south, and if that separates more than a mile, have them come up on this code 0411. Frequency change to the mission 123.7. Okay, I want to from White Knight. Uh, go ahead and uh, start the uh, nitrous dump. Okay, 12 is starting the nitrous dump, and it's just a straight dump down to 100, right? That's what we understand. Affirmative from SCUM. Wow, nice big thump as it went out. We've got a little fog coming out the side there, Mike, so we can see it from the video. Excellent. What yeah, I can it? see it in the video, too. Very nice. What was that thump, though? I don't know. I felt it, too. Yeah, and White Knight felt the thump as well. Any ideas what that may have been? I think it's just the valve opening it up into the bang. Copy that. And pressure is falling. We're down to 600 to a guy. Went away. I noticed that the visible cloud is now much smaller, so we must have had some liquid and now we're down to gas. Pressure is 470. Starship 7 o'clock, 410. Roger, Starship. Okay, I'm ready for the glycol dump. Everybody ready? We're ready. Okay, it's going to be a count of three seconds. So, three, two, one, mark. Oh, yeah. Big pull, Mike.
Okay, ball is centered. I'm reading 1.8 on the trim, rudder trim. Six degrees set in the uh, pitch trim. Rudders check. Rudders deployed and released. After that, all next. Slowing. Okay, buffeting in the tail already. At 90, there's a big pitch up. Big pitch up. Using nose trim down. Okay, it departed at about uh, 85, maybe. Understand you're under control. Negative. Okay, you got a, you got our elevon trim is out of way out of trim, Mike. You need to come back on the roll trim. Feels pretty good. Okay. Quite a bit of nose up trim required, though. You see that? Yeah, I sure do. You might really want to look at, so you're through 27,000 now. You might want to look at just a flare to about 95 knots or so from there. Okay. See right over the runway. I just want to get onto the trim page to see what I'm looking at. Okay. Yeah, the, the biggest thing you need to do is assess controllability for the flare and touchdown. So if you can really work the speed range between about 115 and uh, 95. No lower, then uh, that's the right thing to be done. Wow. Try to fly it hands off at uh, 10, 110, indicated it's 8 degrees of nose up trim. Okay, copy that. Good thing we put the gear on. Now, why would that be? I don't think we've ever had to need that much before. There goes the Starship hey, underneath us by a lot. Yeah, I understand that. We're talking about it. 
I have the Starship in sight, you're clear. Okay. But regardless of what it is, look at the controllability about that. Okay. Okay. Well, on on, on, on our wing tip. Trim. Yep. And if you don't like it there, then you need more nose down trim for the approach. I agree. Three two four zero. you're overhead the field, and uh, again, looking at uh, pitch control about your trim point to flare. Right. I'm there it is, got the... Yeah, I got it. All right, good. I think. Okay. Yep, got it. And I'm using a little forward trim because of that. Uh, it started getting really light at, at 100 knots. Okay. Yeah, he's... Yep. Did you get him, Pete? I got him. All right. Well, that's very strange. I don't understand this at all. Okay, through 23.5 over the field, and uh, we don't want you real high uh, tail trim. Not a lot of nose up trim. Uh, favorite more nose down and hold the force. Yeah, to 10,500 going to, uh, I think I'll go to the left high key and make right turns. Okay, 8,000 feet heading along from uh, the left side high key. Okay, Mike, and you are wide of the uh, high key entry point. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Okay, looking for 6,500 feet over the runway. Speed is 111. Little wing rock there, I think it's just a turbulence. Okay, look high. Gear. Okay, go for the gear. And you got two mains and a nose fish. Copy that, three green lights. Okay, looks like it's going to be okay. Uh, it gives a lot more drag than we thought. And five feet, three, two. Okay, we got it made. I'm copy, thanks, Mike. Great job. Mojave Tower, uh, Duchess for uh, right now, one, two, six, four, stop. Air is stopped under control. Roger that. 